In this video, I'm gonna tell you my one thing, my one trick that I wish I would have started on super early in my playthrough. Don't mind the echo, I just bought a house and building my YouTube studio and don't mind the face, I'm doing something new around here. My name is Bunboss and if you're new here, welcome. I wanna give a really big shout out to all my Discord and Patreon members. Thank you so much for supporting me. You get PVP and PVE experience by doing either daily frontline duty, spoiler, this is what we're going to focus on, and just PVP experience for Crystal Conflict or Rival Wings. Now, it doesn't fall past me that probably most players are not doing Rival Wings for not any other reason that they just don't know what to do, but that is not what we're focusing on today. A season is about two months, and in that time, you need to scrape by begrudgingly in order to get these rewards that are only obtainable through PVP. Doing your daily frontline duty gives you bonus series experience. It's about 10 to 15 minutes of your life, which still might be too much to ask of some of you naysayers of PvP. And on top of that, gives you some of the best experience for your actual job you want to level. The cherry on top is that you can queue into frontline as the job you want to get experience on, change your job once you're in to the job you actually like to play in PvP, and once it's over, you'll still get experience on that original job you queued in with. This is a win-win-win situation and one that new players should be taking full advantage of. Experiment with each job and see which one fits your playstyle. I love some Black Mage PvP myself because it's a way faster tempo than PvE and really gives a lot of crowd control. What's your favorite job to play in PvP? I do know most of you will say none because you avoid it at all costs. By the way, you can go over to the Wolf's Den so you can set up your PvP hotbar or cross hotbar before you queue in. I have made that mistake and I've had to set it up during the match because I forget there's 18 jobs and I'm dumb. A new season just started so this is a perfect time to start racking up the experience for your jobs, your season XP, and getting those rewards because as far as we know, they are exclusive through PvP. For now anyway. To unlock the frontline roulette, you're going to have to be far enough in the MSQ to be a part of a grand company. You don't have to worry because you can't miss this part. You will also have to be level 30 which is pretty easy to hit since you get a ton of experience from the MSQ. Your unlock quest is going to be a pup no longer from your respective grand company and like civilized men and women which is for Gridania, this lady right here. She has a few so you actually have to go up to her and talk with her and choose that quest. Once you do both quests you'll see that frontline duty is unlocked. Make sure to hit that like button so YouTube thinks that it's a decent video. I will see you guys in my next video. If you want to keep watching Final Fantasy guide content, then you can click here.